Hey everybody, this is Get Out There with Sean. This is what it looks like to travel with Intex's Challenger K1 inflatable kayaks. That is all the room they take up. Easy to lug around. You don't need some kind of crazy attachment on the roof of your vehicle. And you don't need some giant SUV or anything to sit there and haul your stuff around. Guys, this is what it looks like outside of the bag. Pretty small, compact, and inflated up, all assembled. Pretty good size for an individual. You guys, continuing the Intex Challenger K1 ideal opportunity to be able to get out still enjoy the beautiful outdoors all while still social distancing these things are working great they float well we're getting a little bit of wake from uh, some of the boats cruising by it's not a big issue still great control on these things uh, one thing to note um, around memorial day for these uh, i saw a deal for 140 dollars for two of them on home depot and they sold out really quickly amazon same day was offering them up for around $100 each. I bought them that day and the next day they dropped down to $70. So right now the prices are really crazy. They're jumping all over the place. So don't feel obligated to buy any of them at any kind of crazy price. Just give them a day, a week, a couple weeks, and you can end up getting yourself a really smoking deal yourself. But guys, this thing here is definitely worth it. Uh, have all my stuff stored up here. I am six foot two and I have my legs tucked in this thing. This is doable guys. Um, there's no need for you to go out and spend $700 on some hard kayak unless you're in like some really rough areas. I mean, there are rocks and such that we did come in on uh, to, to beach along here to get these in, but it is not a problem. So enjoy everybody. This here is just a final recap. Uh, these kayaks worked out phenomenal today. We took them for a little over two and a quarter miles on the river and had zero problems with them or anything. The net worked out awesome for storing the bag that we carried them out in. A uh, little backpack, water, uh, anything that we had that was trash that needed to come back with us went under there as well. Glasses, hat, etc. It all worked awesome. I had plenty of room inside, being a six foot two male, uh, had some pretty long legs and everything, so that worked out phenomenal. One thing to note is that the seats do have adjustable straps on them here. They basically clip in on either side here. And another thing to note that we kind of figured out afterwards is if you unclip them and lift this out, you actually have complete room back here as well, which is, I mean, all the way down to the, the back of the boat there. So quite a bit of room for extra storage if you need to carry something else along, whatever that may be. I don't know, maybe you're doing some fishing, etc. need some tackle equipment. But of course, it's gonna be hard to get to once it's in there. So maybe something that you don't need easy access to. Another thing that should definitely be noted is on two different spots on this boat, there are measurements when you're airing this up. And it comes with a little transparent ruler here that uh, you'll basically just apply it on. And as you fill it up, you just line up the marks, if you will. So me being six foot two, 230 pounds, I noticed that right here in the center, when you would actually hop in or get out, uh, you're applying a pretty decent crease there. And of course, when you're paddling along as well, that part's a little bit low because that's where all the body weight is. And so if a weight comes along, uh, it can pull in a little bit of water. So if you're a bit on the heavier side, um, I personally think for the future, I'll just go ahead and inflate this a little bit more. That way it just goes ahead and raises up the edge for me. It wasn't a problem. I did pull in a little bit of water, especially getting in, and that was really the only time. My friend that has had his for over a year, he did recommend raising it a little bit higher, but I just didn't listen. So I learned that lesson. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna depend on your location everything for this but if i were to go out and rent a kayak it costs 30 dollars for one to two hours and so if you're going out and doing that as a couple after taxes and everything you've basically bought one of these these here are a phenomenal deal they pack up really small i mean that one there is completely loaded up in the bag and everything easy to transport this is a worthwhile purchase guys if you're looking to get outdoors so i hope this review helps you out if you have any questions please let me know enjoy everybody